All right, as you can see, I'm already at the scrapyard. Yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys. As you can see, I'm at the scrapyard. So I'll show you my load here, guys, what I got on. Get rid of the chairs. Clean that generator guy. The motor is in there. So we're going to get rid of it. Some batteries and steel and some more dirty aluminum and stuff. So yeah, so let's see what we get. Who knows? Anyhow, that's where we are. A bad atone, a bad atone. All right, what you saw on the uh, truckload was everything that that guy brought in, except for the lawnmower. I still got to clean it. I've got a bunch more of these up on the hill, so I'm going to clean them all at once. Get the tool set out for that to do that. Um, instead of because they took all that irony, I took those motors that were here. Um, the one that came off of that lawnmower that was there it was a John Deere, and then the one that was off of that generator. Yeah, my my goats when we fed. So I got to go do that yet, and then I'm going to work on this maybe tomorrow. Oh yeah. My cleaning company had a bunch of wire. The bin was full. This is the bin I always drop off to them. So yeah, they had a bunch for me. And then they had a bunch of motors that all went. I sold them today. So my load today was a decent load. I got $145. I think it was a little change, guys. It's not bad at all. I mean, with the dirty aluminum and the batteries. Oh yeah, the batteries that were here, they're gone. So pretty much, essentially, what the guy brought in, it's gone. I cleaned it up. All the motors and stuff I had laying around, I got rid of all them. All I got left is this little pile here. We're going to get rid of this. And we got the extrusion. So, I got this extrusion and some extrusion. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can expand it here. Yeah, there's some extrusion right there. Let me see if I can pull off here. Here we are, right there. The extrusion in that pile right there. So, we're going to get that cleaned and get it out. And we got to finish cleaning the rest of this up here, guys. That's got to go yet. So, once I get that cleaned up, I'll be able to... I'm, I'm trying to get it done before winter, so I'll have a place to push the snow. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to, guys. I'm I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting it, getting it down. So brought some more skids home. I burned all the other skids up. Here, let's see if I can push this back. There we go. Push it back. I haven't covered that yet. That's on the weekend. You know, I finished cutting trees down. Like I said, the brother-in-law is coming on the weekend. We're gonna have. Uh, I guess we're having hamburgers this weekend because uh, Tam's coming over. She's making them. So while I'm outside working, I'm gonna finish cleaning that. Alright, maybe I'll start cleaning this stuff tomorrow. I don't know. It's the only thing supposed to rain tomorrow. So if it doesn't rain, clean this tomorrow. Those chairs. Uh, what do we got? Three microwaves. Yeah, three microwaves. We're going to clean the three microwaves. And then we got... Well, that's like it's a dehumidifier. I think it's a dehumidifier. Could be. But anyhow, that, that, and the other two, the other. And then I've got just the two coolers. I'll clean them. Doesn't take long to do the coolers, they're pretty easy, but there's nice chunks of coppers on them, guys. So we'll get that done. So I can get this mess cleaned up. Hopefully before the weekend. If I can get it done tomorrow. If nothing happens, nothing comes up. <laughs> I always say that, but then you know what happens? Somebody calls me for a pickup. <laughs> and the pickups always come first because as long as I can get it here, I can always put it up on the hill and stockpile it. So if it comes worse and I don't get this done, I'll just dump it up behind the workshop and be there for the winter. So like I said, if I don't have time, no big deal. So, I still gotta finish this mess over here. I gotta clean up this. I gotta bring the tractor over. I forgot to show you this piece of copper. This was on the uh, that trailer load I had. Remember the trailer load I had? Well, I don't know if you can see how tall it is. Well, it's taller than me. It's taller than me. I can't reach any higher. <laughs> She's nice and long, so I gotta cut that up too. That's number one, except for the one piece on the end. I gotta get that off, because it's a piece of steel. And then you get your brass. So, but I got to cut it up. There's brass, there's everything in here. So I got to get this mess cleaned up. Yeah, I got to go feed my goats. So, yeah, I'll probably, uh, um, the one brother, he's gone uh, deer hunting. And uh, the other brother's still up here. We're starting up again with the aluminum. So, a little bit of copper, not much in that little bucket. Nothing in that one. Those rotors got to go too. The rotors got to go. So those rotors... I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe what I'll do is I'll get as much cleaned as I can. And then uh, maybe just take, I don't know, I, 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 I got to get a dump trailer load out of here. I, I definitely do. Because I got an awful whack of stuff that's got to go, guys. I mean, I got stuff coming in my yin-yang, so I got to get it out. I got, I got those uh, riding lawnmowers that have got to go yet. And this is all, like I said, extrusion laying on the ground. So that stuff adds up. That stuff is like, it's 80, 80 cents a pound. Either 80 or 90, or it might even be a dollar a pound. I don't know. It's got to be higher than that because the other stuff is 70 or 80 cents. So this has got to be like higher than that. It's got to be a dollar or something for extrusion. Maybe a dollar, dollar ten, maybe. 
don't know, I haven't cashed any in a while, so I don't know, guys. I, I guess I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll ask them when I go up. So I'm not sure. I just know it's it's up there. So like I said, my dirty aluminum, dirty aluminum, dirty stainless, um, motors, pretty much everything like that is all like 25 cents. Anywhere from 20, 25 cents, roughly right around there. So, and you know what? I get so much of it every week that I always have a load of dirty aluminum to go out once a week at least. So, and like I said, those are all dirty aluminum. So I have a bunch more of them to clean, lawnmowers. I got a few more down here that I got to pick up. I'm going to bring them up and put them all in one pile with the tractor. And then I'll just go all at them. And what I'll do is I'll have the steel, the bodies, they'll go in the steel pile. And then we'll get rid of the uh, dirty aluminum. And dirty aluminum is 25 cents a pound, man. It adds up fast. You can make 100 bucks like nothing. Yeah, like what I had on, I've still got those titanium beds and stuff. And they're heavy, guys. So, yeah. It's not hard to make 100 bucks. So, but I've got the space, guys. Like I said, I'm licensed for it. So, I mean, I can make a mess. I'm the one that's got to look at it. So, and this mess is going to be gone because I need to get in here and... I'm working this weekend, supposed to be nice again this weekend, so I'm working on this pile here now. Push this back, a few more trees to cut around here, and we want to cut the ones here. Because we don't want, I don't want the limbs or anything touching the new canvas I'm putting on this stuff. So I'm going to rip all that old canvas, I'll get my um, Zacto knife and cut all that old stuff off. So, and I might even do that tomorrow. I mean, between working on that, working on this, because I want to get that ready for Sunday. Because... Uh, the brother-in-law is going to give me a hand, and we're going to finish trimming these trees off right here. I don't know if you can see them on here. Let me see if you can show you. Here, I'm close up. See those trees? i got to get them down lower. they got to go. So we got to come right off at the bottom. I'll get him to cut as low as he can with the uh, the chainsaw, and then I'll take the sawzall and trim them off at the bottom, make them flat so they don't catch on anything. And then the rest of whatever metal is in there, too, is all got to go. Anything that's in there metal. Got to clean it up. All right. I ran out of space, had to delete some more stuff that was on my phone. My phone is pretty much full of, like, videos and stuff. But anyhow, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one with some goodies! <laughs>